all right welcome back in this session we are going to be creating the extrude cut of these three holes that you see at the center of our block okay so one thing to remember if i go over here to the left side under the solids manager open it up by clicking on that plus sign and you're going to see this is going to be the tree hierarchy to everything that you've done all the features that you've used in uh, mastercam x8 solids okay so the first thing you've done is extrude boss the main body and remember we named it this okay so the next thing we're going to do is extrude cut and we're going to call it extrude cut three holes or holes okay so let's go back to our drawing right now to just look at the holes that we're going to be cutting so those are going to be the three holes now the important thing is also to know how deep are you cutting these holes well if you look at our drawing in the front view it's going to show you that they are going to be through holes if you're not sure that they are through holes please read the note that it says over here three times half an inch diameter through holes so that means they're going to be through the entire part okay so i'm going to minimize this and get started on that so i'm going to go back to the same feature i've used previously and extrude solid and this time i'm going to select all three circles so select one two and three they're all going to be in yellow and then go ahead and click on ok and right now it's going to be automatically on create body now we're not doing create body, we're actually going to be doing cut body. And as you can see now, the cut body and the add bars are highlighted. That's because now that you have a body, you're able to cut pieces out of it or add pieces to it. Okay. Now for the name, let's go ahead and rename this to extrude cut holes. This way we can, uh, you know, know what we're doing. This saves to the solids manager and we'll know that this feature is cutting the holes. Okay. The target, the target is already picked for us and it is the block that we've created in our previous session. So now that we have a block, which is a boss or extrusion made in our previous session, you, now that you, you see the target um, being highlighted. Remember previously it was grayed out. You could not choose it because there was nothing created to begin with. We're going to create a single operation. Okay, a single operation is going to be cutting through all those three. And as you can see under chains, it's going to show chain number one, two, and three and as you can see if you select one of them it will highlight the whichever it is so chain number one obviously it's going to be this one chain number two is the middle one chain number three is the top right one okay so obviously i do not want to cut in the top direction and as you can see if i click in the top direction it automatically ch changes it to create body because i can't cut through nothing so i'm going to re-click on this reverse and then i'm going to make sure i click on cut body as you can see the holes are changed to darker holes now if i hold the scroll mouse button and twist it you're going to see that the holes are now created okay another way to do this i'm going to put it back into isometric is come over here under wireframe if you click on wireframe you'll also see the holes being created now i like to leave it in wireframe especially when i'm creating holes or cutting to a certain depth because that will show me what i'm doing before i do it and mess it up uh, because i didn't really preview it in any way you know what i mean so uh, to go from there i'm gonna either if, if you don't like that you can go back to shaded or you can go to wireframe so whatever you like now i already know what i'm doing so i'm gonna leave it under shaded so you can see and always have a feel of a 3d model in front of you i'm gonna scroll down over here now for the distance you can put two inches and that will cut through them all but the safest bet is to go through all and that will assure that these three holes will go through the entire block okay you can do both directions but it's not going to work over here because there is nothing in the other directions to cut okay you can also trim the faces so if there's any other faces as i said before in different z levels right now we only worked on one z level if there is anything in different z levels it will create those on those different levels okay so we're going to keep everything like that and just click on ok and there you go. Now that you see, look on the left side, you're going to see the first operation was extrude boss, main body. The second one was an extrude cut holes. So we've created both of those. Okay. And then it concludes this session for extrude cut.